How you folks doing? I love what I do in my clinical theater. I'm up here in my digital studio at my homestead ranch and working on voiceovers today. But I want to tell you folks here on Keep Sarakeen is that I'm seeing some really beautiful dentistry and uh, particularly some of these incisal effects and surface texturing, the way you folks are blending it in is just amazing. I want to show you a video clip on how I have used Mayo and I use it in my training and I'll be training this at the AACD convention in April back in Maryland. And if you're in that area, if you haven't attended the AACD, it's where I've learned most of what I do in dentistry around the aesthetic edges and functional and all the other aspects that apply to us even with implants and I have always considered to be the pinnacle of learning. And this is where I've learned most of what I do in CERC today and also here with my PM7 and ExoCAD. Well, my goal is to fire Emacs with one firing and that's to place these colors on the pre-crystallized ceramic and getting the same effect. And that way we preserve the value of the ceramic. I've been going back more and more to HT because I can get this effect with one firing and preserve that value and it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna share with you my approach that I use and the workflow with Mio. And then what we're gonna do is transfer that same technique of application over to the pre-crystallized Emacs and get the same effects. So if you can make it to the ACD, I hope to see you there. And I also will be sharing this information at the Keep Seracine True Abutment Symposium in June in Vegas. So make sure you make it to that one as well. So let's go ahead and have some fun with Mio. Mio Glaze. This is the secret about 850. It's magical. Once this restoration fires, the glaze looks like natural enamel. It gives it that nice luster. Just keep it thin, particularly on the incisal edge. Our first step in adding and creating the illusion of a beautiful incisal edge is adding smoke, extend it around the line angles as apical for the case. And then at the incisal edge, keep it about a half a millimeter from that incisal edge and then feather that low value effect down into the primary grooves. This is what we call our low value foundation. And from this, this is our working palette that will add all other colors. Storm is a great complement to smoke. Use it to add translucency accent zones, such as at the incisal edge of the primary depressions and often around the line angles. We'll float on the color, blend it in with the smoke. You'll see a little more emphasis just in those areas that we want to pop a little more translucency illusion. Once the low value translucency effects are established for the case, the concept here is all about contrast. Often this may be as far as I go on a case, but there's other options and that's what we're gonna do next. Oh yes, Halo Spring. Just beadline that Halo Spring by using the surface tension between the brush and incisal edge to keep that zone really thin. But as you see, as we add the halo spring, it really starts to pop out the low value. And that's the secret behind creating a natural incisal look. It has to be applicable for the case, but as you've seen in other illustrations, at the beginning of this video, it's easy to do. white accents. They're fun to do when the case requires it. I like to mix about 50-50 between lumen and snow. Snow is the white, it's pretty intense. By diluting that with lumen, you can play with the incisal edge, float on the high value into the halo spring, and then move the colors around as you see fit for the case. Now take a look at the contrast with the low value. This is what makes a restoration come alive. Internal 
Shyamalan enhancement. This is fun to do. I like Clementine. It's a nice neutral dental color. We can highlight the Mamelon effect by adding some subtle colors around the high value where it creates more of a separation for that incisal Mamelon internal look. And it's pretty cool. There's different ways to apply the cervical dentinal shine through of a ceramic. I prefer using a more translucent ceramic when it applies and letting the prep color shine through. However, with meal cervical colors, we have the dentinal shades. One thing nice about this material is that we can create a nice subtle gradation without blotching. And that's the secret. One application, no blotching. It's really nice to have this feature as a support when we're adding the subtle effects that we need for the case. Higher valued enamel accents. Again, we're gonna go back to our Lumen and Snow 50-50 mix and add those into that surface. This is the last step I take before the restoration is fired. In the area of the pericamata, you often will see a little more high value enamel effects. This material is so easy to apply it to your colored palette and blend in accordingly as the case demands. Quite often, I'll have a photograph of adjacent tooth so I can paint this in, duplicate what I see from that photograph and establish this effect with one coloring. And that's why I love meal so much. So voila, we're now ready to fire. <sighs> Training on a fire ceramic is always helpful. Now transferring that to the pre-crystallized is the next step. I've done this in my classes for over a year now and the process is pretty streamlined. Once you get that feel, you can nail it most of the time. And even if you need to do a second firing, you know you have it down. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you post them below. You folks have a great day. Bye now.